Want to know the easiest way to add Firebase Jot authentication to an API? Then stay tuned, watch this video. We'll show you how you can take Zuplo, a programmable API gateway, and put it in front of any backend to easily add Firebase Jot authentication and get other features like rate limiting and developer documentation as well in just a matter of minutes. So what we're gonna do here is create a new project called Firebase Jot. And that'll be ready in about 10 seconds, typically. Um, we'll have a developer gateway set up for you. And what we're going to use as the back end for this is a to-do API. So a very simple sample API that just returns a list of to-dos. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Then we'll come into this routing file. And if I had an open API document for my API, I could just import that here. But I'm going to manually build up my API here. Add a new route called get all to-dos put that at slash v1 slash to do's and do a URL rewrite to that endpoint that we just talked about. So if I save my change, when this finishes spinning now, that change will be live and ready for me to test. So if I open up this little test console and click here, you'll see that we're now proxying that information through the gateway already super quick. Next thing I need to do then is add an authentication policy that uses the Firebase Jot form. So I'm going to add a policy here, search for Firebase. You'll see Firebase Jot authentication. And I need to add one thing in this configuration here, which is my project ID. So I have a project here called Zuplo Testing. That's my project name. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in here. Oops, that needs to be on the same line. Click OK, save all my changes. And I have just prepared an API that will only allow calls from a Firebase Jot that is part of that project. And to show you that, just to give you a very quick um, demo of that, I'm going to hit test here. And, oh, sorry, wrong place. Come in here. And you'll notice now we get a 401 unauthorized. Uh, so that's because I don't have a, a Jot token. So now, to test this out, I need a Firebase Jot token that uh, I can use here to test my um, to test my API and test that it works in the case that I actually have a token. Um, for that, I'm going to use a little project that we released called Jot Generator for Firebase. It's free. It's at firebasejot.com, and it's just an easy way to get a Firebase Jot token. But notice I need a web API key. So I'm going to come over here, go into my project settings, copy that web API key, paste that in here. And now I'm going to create um, a new account, foo at molmorg.com. Password is some secret I'm not going to tell you. I click sign up. That will sign me up. And because I signed up, it also got me a Jot token. So I can just double click that, copy that off to the clipboard, and I now have a Jot token. So let's go and see if it works. Um, so we'll come in here. We'll use the test client. V1 slash to do's is my endpoint. Um, if I hit that, by default, I get a 401 unauthorized. But if I add an authorization header, burr, and paste in that token and click test, I get 200 OK. And that's because I just added a Firebase Jot token that is valid for that project. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll just show you one more feature. Let's imagine you wanted to add rate limiting on a user basis, just how easy that would be. So I do rate limiting. I say by user, that's going to allow, let's say, one request per minute for that user. Click uh, save to save my changes. Reopen my test client when that's done, when that finishes spinning. Hit test, I get one. Hit test two, I get 429, too many requests. Rate limiting clicked in. There's so much more included out of the box, but if you want to add Firebase Jot authentication to an API, Zuplo is the easiest way to do it. Check out our other videos on using Firebase or Superbase with Zuplo to make it easy for you to go API first with your Firebase or Superbase backend.